Around 70% of world's population leave paycheck to paycheck. In order to become wealthy, we need to break this cycle either by increasing our incomes or by increasing savings or both. This video features a comprehensive array of money-saving strategies. We're confident there's something for everyone here. With each of us navigating unique financial landscapes, please pick the tips that align with your lifestyle and watch your savings soar gradually. Category 1. Personal Finance. Pay yourself first. Paying yourself first is a classic personal finance principle. Whenever your paycheck arrives, you should put some of it towards a retirement savings plan or cash savings account. Try to increase these contributions regularly. Emergency Fund. Build an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses and avoid going into debt. Automate Savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account having higher yield. Automatic Bill Payments. You never have to worry about missing a due date if you set up automatic bill payments for recurring expenses like rent, utilities, and loan payments. It will save you from late fee and you can budget effectively. Automate savings using apps like Trim. This free app will help you automate your savings. Trim offers the following ways to save money. You can have it negotiate your cable or internet bill on your behalf. Unwanted subscriptions can be found and cancelled with Trim. Savings can be automated with the app. Debt relief is possible with Trim. Switch from plastic to cash. Consumer spending is increased by credit cards, according to several studies. The reason for this is that credit card payments may not be as noticeable as cash payments. Embrace Kakibo, the $5.34 rule. In Japanese, Kakibo means household financial ledger. Its pen and paper approach to budgeting stands out from the latest finance apps or software. Use free financial tools. Take advantage of free budgeting apps, financial calculators, and resources available online. Review subscriptions. Regularly review your subscriptions and cancel those you no longer use or need. Download a Roundup app. There are many apps and financial institutions that offer Roundup programs, such as Acorns, Stash, and Capital. Your purchase is automatically rounded up and transferred to your savings account when you make a purchase. Act as if you didn't receive the raise. It's advised that when you get a raise, it's a good idea not to spend more than 50% of what's left over after taxes. If you stick to your pre-raise budget, you'll avoid accumulating debt or increasing expenses. Category 2. Debt Management. Pay more than minimum. Pay more than the minimum payment on credit cards and loans to reduce interest charges. Consolidate debt. Consider consolidating high interest debt into a lower interest loan. Refinance loans. Refinance high interest loans or mortgages to lower your monthly payments. Streamline your debt repayment process. Paying down debt can also be automated, just like saving. You can schedule monthly payments through your bank if you have loans or liabilities with payment plans. Category 3. Entertainment. Streamlining services. Cut down on cable and opt for streaming services that offer more affordable entertainment options. Library membership. Borrow books, movies, and music from the library instead of buying them. In addition to renting books, most libraries also offer audiobooks and digital versions. This is a great way to get in some reading without spending too much. Utilize free activities. Look for free events, parks, and community centers for entertainment. Category 4. Transportation. Use public transportation. Save on gas and parking fees by using buses, trains, or subways. Carpool. Share rides with friends, family, 
or co-workers to split fuel costs. Walk or bike. Whenever possible, walk or bike instead of driving to save on gas and maintenance. Maintain your vehicle. Keep your car well maintained to avoid costly repairs and improve fuel efficiency. Drive economically. Practice fuel efficient driving habits such as avoiding rapid acceleration and maintaining a steady speed. Category 5. Travel. Travel off peak. Travel during off peak seasons or midweek to find cheaper flights and accommodations. Use rewards. Use travel rewards points and miles to book flights, hotels, and rental cars for free or at a discount. Stay with locals. Consider staying with locals through platforms like Airbnb or Couchsurfing for cheaper accommodations. Pack light. Pack light to avoid checked baggage fees and save money on flights. Category 6. Education and learning. Utilize free resources. Take advantage of free online courses, tutorials, and educational videos to learn new skills. Borrow books. Borrow textbooks and reference materials from the library or classmates instead of buying them. Attend free workshops. Look for free workshops and seminars in your area for personal and professional development. Apply for scholarships. If you're a student, apply for scholarships and grants to help cover educational expenses. Category 7. Utilities. Reduce energy usage. Turn off lights, unplug electronics, install dimmer switches and LED light bulbs and use energy-efficient appliances to lower your electricity bill. Use programmable thermostat. Set your thermostat to adjust automatically to save on heating and cooling costs. Weatherproof your home. Seal drafts and insulate your home to keep heating and cooling costs down. Take shorter showers. Reduce water usage to save on water bills. Fix leaks. Repair any leaks in faucets or pipes to avoid wasting water and money. 8. Health and wellness. Exercise at home. Skip the gym membership and exercise at home using free online workouts or outdoor activities. Cook healthy meals. Eating healthy can save money on medical bills in the long run, so prioritize home-cooked nutritious meals. Use preventive care. Take advantage of free preventive care services covered by your health insurance to avoid costly medical issues later. Pack snacks and water. Bring snacks and water with you when you're out to avoid impulse purchases and expensive convenience store snacks. Limit eating out. Reduce the frequency of dining out and opt for home-cooked meals to save money on food. Limit alcohol consumption. Reduce the amount of alcohol you consume to save money on drinks and prevent overspending. 9. Grocery shopping. Plan meals. Create a weekly meal plan based on what's on sale and what you already have in your pantry. Use coupons. Clip coupons or use digital coupon apps to save on groceries. Buy generic brands. Opt for generic or store brands instead of name brands. Shop sales. Take advantage of weekly sales and discounts at your local grocery store. Buy in bulk. Purchase non-perishable items in bulk to save money per unit. Shop seasonally. Buy fruits and vegetables when they're in season for lower prices. Avoid impulse buys. Stick to your shopping list to avoid unnecessary purchases. Category 10. Shopping and clothing buy off-season. Purchase clothing and seasonal items off-season when they're on sale. Repair clothing. Mend and repair clothing instead of buying new items when they have minor damage. 
Change your default option. When you shop online, make sure you select the slowest and cheapest shipping option. A small change like this could save you a lot of money in the long run. 11. Housing. Downsize living space. Consider moving to a smaller home or apartment to save on rent or mortgage payments. Negotiate rent. If renting, negotiate with your landlord for lower rent or ask for improvements instead of rent increases. Rent spare rooms. If you have extra space, consider renting it out to help cover your housing costs. Energy efficient upgrades. Invest in energy efficient appliances and home improvements to save on utility bills over time. 12. Miscellaneous. DIY gifts. Create homemade gifts for birthdays, holidays, and special occasions instead of buying expensive ones. Barter or trade services. Exchange services with friends, family, or neighbors instead of paying for them. Monitor credit score. Regularly check your credit score for free and take steps to improve it, which can help qualify for better loan rates and credit cards. Use a price tracker. Use price tracking tools and browser extensions to monitor price changes and get the best deals. Declutter and sell. Declutter your home regularly and sell items you no longer need or use to make extra money. Buy pre-owned electronics. Purchase pre-owned electronics such as smartphones, laptops, and tablets instead of buying new ones. DIY Home Improvement Before you spend hundreds on new backsplashes, benches, or lighting fixtures, consider doing it yourself. It is often possible to save a lot of money on your next home project by researching online and using a simple Google or YouTube search for your latest project. Take on DIY home improvement projects instead of hiring professionals. Utilize community resources. Take advantage of community resources such as food banks, libraries, and parks for free or low-cost services and entertainment. Cut cable subscription. Consider cutting your cable subscription and switching to streaming services to save money on entertainment. Buy pre-owned cars. Consider purchasing a reliable pre-owned vehicle instead of a new one to save money on depreciation. Choose free or low-cost entertainment. Explore free or low-cost entertainment options such as parks, museums, and community events. DIY haircuts. Learn to cut your hair at home or ask a friend or family member to help you save money on salon visits. Take advantage of free trials. Sign up for free trials of subscription services to try them out before committing to a paid subscription. Get your inventory back to zero, take a look through your closets, kitchen, and other areas of your home, and get rid of anything you don't use. By doing this, you'll be able to avoid impulse purchases and save money over time. Stock up on sales. Don't hesitate to stock up on something you need or want when it's on sale. In particular, this is beneficial when it comes to non-perishable items like toilet paper, paper towels, and canned goods. Use cashback apps and rewards. Take advantage of cashback apps and credit cards to earn rewards on your purchases but pay off the balance in full each month. You can start saving without even trying if you incorporate these strategies into your daily routine. You'll be surprised how much financial security you can achieve over time by consistently saving small amounts. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you who has been tuning in commenting, and supporting the channel. Your engagement means the world to me, and it's what keeps this channel going. This channel is a passion project, and your support makes it possible for me to continue doing what I love. Your subscription, likes, and shares truly make a difference. So, if you haven't already, 
consider subscribing, give that like button a little tap, and share this video with someone you think might enjoy it. Thanks a million for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you.